age wrinkles the body, quitting wrinkles the soul. Douglas MacArthur. My friends, don't wrinkle your soul. Stay with us each and every day. Do not quit this effort. In fact, those of you who've never started it, start it and then don't quit it. The sooner you start, the sooner you will master these markets. 10 to 15 minutes each and every day. That is all we ask. I spend, you know, at least that amount of time just pro, just just recording this show, not even prepping for it for you. If I can find the time in my schedule and do this for you guys every day, you can do it too. 10 to 15 minutes, that's all we ask. Practice trade all you can. You will learn by doing. You will not learn by books. You will add to your knowledge base. You'll add to your knowledge base listening to me, but you will learn by doing. So again, each and every day, 10 to 15 minutes, jump into the charts. We see stocks and Bitcoin are up, gold and bonds are down. Let's look at where we are on the S&P 500, the market that just keeps on a keeping on. Uh, as we look at things today, well, you can see in the morning and in the afternoon, bumping up 0.83%. We had that really high, uh, higher than average volume last week. We are, of course, midweek. We may very well make that same volume. As the market peaks higher, the high last week was 496.05. The high this week, 4. 498.53. So again, just a bumping up. We can see price just running up on both the two day and the half day. We saw where things slid sideways uh, over the last two days after popping up on Friday, but then on Wednesday, you know, popped up again. Nice looking, keeps on a keeping on. What do we see on the NASDAQ 100 up even more, 1.03%, popping up to a higher high. Not a big candle this week, but a candle nonetheless heading up. Of course, above average volume last week, below average the week before. This week, you know, we're three days into a five-day candle. We'll see where things are. The Tuesday, Wednesday, two-day candle, of course, shows us that the volume on Monday and Tuesday did not meet anywhere near what we saw on Friday and Monday of last week. So it's Monday, Friday, sorry, Tuesday, Wednesday. Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So again, this Tuesday, Wednesday volume, much lower than previously. And again, we'll just keep an eye on the volume. On the half-day chart and the two-day chart, we can see we are above that weekly trend line going in the right direction, which is up. What's up with bonds? We're reverting back to the mean. We saw things pop up a little bit yesterday afternoon, but down today, 0.48%. Again, waiting for the end of the week to see if indeed this little pop-up spinning top here with that high volume, and you can see all of that up movement that was killed. Uh, is that just showing us that bonds tried to rally, died, and we'll see confirmed by Friday perhaps if indeed we're back to trundling down, down 0.48%. Now gold, barely down 0.03%. You can in fact see where gold tried to rally or did rally in the morning and then that died in the afternoon with a doji on the half day chart. Lots of volume in the morning, but couldn't hack it. So look at this two day chart, just below average volume. Before, of course, we had a, a down candle for the Friday, Monday. In the week on Thursday, Friday, we had things top out and hit what? The purple line on our charts. We use the purple line to show us where we are with potential ceilings. And of course, that has been a ceiling over and over and over again, going all the way back, as we showed you many times before, to May of last year. And of course, market appears to have hit up on that on both the weekly and the two day. Well, we can see it on the half day too and then running away from it. So we'll keep our eye on things and see if the week ends with gold moving back in the down direction for more shorting possibilities. Now, remember GDZ is, no, DGZ is the gold inverse fund, but we don't use it because it's too illiquid. What do we do when we wanna short gold? We use puts for our practice trades. Why do we use puts? Because they are more liquid, and of course, if you know how to practice trade options, 
uh, they work, uh, if indeed you can read charts also. Now, don't know much about options? Well, we have an option for you. If you become a Patreon supporter at any of the three levels, the first thing you get the minute you join as a Patreon member is you get our three-part series, Options Made Simple, The Charting Wealth Way. So go there, sign up at any of the three levels, support our work, underwrite the work we do here at the channel that I put it in each and every day for you. Help us pay for the bandwidth for all the great stuff that you see here and all the back-end things that we need support on. We would sure appreciate it. So we're going to wait and see if gold is reverting back to the down move as the week ends. And let's look lastly at... Bitcoin. Now again, I keep explaining this chart. Vanek closed their HBTF. It doesn't exist anymore. They opened this new HODL as I call it. H-O-D-L. And it is the Bitcoin chart. It hasn't been around very long. So we don't have average volume except on the half day chart. So we're going to be going back and forth between the 24 hour day Bitcoin chart and HODL. So as we look at things, we can, of course, see green spinning top. Again, looks like nice volume, but we have nothing to compare it to on that chart. So we'll go back to the 24-hour day Bitcoin chart. And you can see, again, Bitcoin up 2.49%. After two weeks of down movement, started turning around last week with average volume. This week, you know, doesn't look like we're two-thirds of that, but we'll see. If Bitcoin rallies, we'd like to see lots of volume there, good average or above volume. But again, we'll see as things progress. Look at this half day chart. Uh, again, where, and I'm calling it a half day because I'm used to calling it that, but this 24 hour day Bitcoin chart. So this is what's happened at the end of the day. Uh, well, I'm sorry, starting in the morning, 195 minutes, and then in the afternoon, 14.30, that would be 2.30 as things really rallied and pushed up strong at the end of the day, up 2.5%. Now, HODL up 2.56%. So again, you can see also how things, let me stretch that a little bit more so you can see it on the half day chart, how things high volume both in the morning and in the afternoon and as price increased. And again, nice little chunk up 2.5%. Five six percent. So Bitcoin moving in the right direction. So that is where we are, my friends, as we end the day. And we will continue to track these charts for you. We love to hear from you. CW at chartingwealth.com. God bless my friends. All the best from the whole team at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.